Alright guys, I wanted to start by um, introducing the program a little bit. This is Photo P. This is the program that we're going to be using as our Photoshop replacement. Okay. Um, if you look at it, it's very similar to Photoshop. For so, for those of you who have used Photoshop before or have seen the program, it should look very similar. Um, I like Photo P because it works and operates very, very, very much like Photoshop. So. Um, let's get started here so what you're looking at is the down the left hand side you can see all of the tools in the toolbar and across the top you can see it's got all of these little drop downs that you can pick and choose things from and we're gonna be talking about some of this as we work through using the program um, you can see here on the right hand side there is the layers the channels and the paths the history and the swatches. These five panels we will be using quite often as we work in the program um, with layers being your primary um, palette that you're going to be using all the time. So you'll see that this one is open um, probably 90 to 95 percent of the time. Okay, so that's a little short rundown of the program itself. But this first video I'd like to show you is how you're going to make a selection of something uh, using uh, part one, if you will. There's two different ways I'm going to show you how to um, make a selection. So what we're trying to do here is we're going to be isolating and getting all of these individual pieces onto their own layers. You can see right here we have everything on one layer only, so we need to kind of get these separated. So the first thing we're going to do is I want to come over here and use the rectangular select tool. And all I'm going to do is drag a square around my cutting board. Okay. Once you have the selection, everything inside that box, that dash box, is selected right now. Then I'm going to move over here to the fourth tool down. I'm going to click and hold and go to the magic wand. Okay, The magic wand is the next tool that we're going to use here. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the magic wand to deselect all of this white area that's around the cutting board and the little white area that's inside the handle. So I have the magic wand selected and I'm going to hold the alt key on the keyboard and that's going to move my magic wand to a subtract magic wand. Okay, So I'm holding alt and I'm holding here and I'm just going to click on the white area and you can see that it gets rid of all of that white space around the cutting board. I'm going to hold alt one more time and click on that white space and let go and I now have just that cutting board selected. So once you have that selected, we're going to go up to Edit, Copy, and Edit, Paste. And you're going to see what it does is it puts that cutting board on its own layer. Now that we have two layers here, we have one that's the background. That has all of our pieces. And layer one is just the layer with our cutting board. You can turn this eyeball on and off, and you can toggle back and forth with showing you what is on that specific layer. So again, on layer one, all we have is that cutting board. That's what we just isolated. Okay. So now we're going to move on to the next one. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the background layer here. And I'm going to now do that same exact process for the head of the lettuce, the bowl of olives, the tomato, and the salad sticker. Okay. So that same process we can use for all five of these pieces. Now, the thing you need to remember for, to make your next selection is you have to go back to the background layer because that's where that head of lettuce is located. So again, I'm going to take my, go to my background layer, click on it, go up to my rectangular select tool, draw a square. Again, make sure you don't come down into the pepper. Just, just get it by the white area. Let go. Switch to my magic wand. I want to hold Alt click on the white space you can see you're deselecting all of that white space around there the selection jumps to the edge of that green head of lettuce and now again I can go up to edit copy edit paste okay and again we can use that same process that I just showed you with these first two layers here layer one and layer two to go get the bowl of olives the tomato and the salad sticker okay so that is method one of selecting and getting things onto their own layers.